Welcome. My name is Mike Garner. I'm a retired attorney, and I'm glad to welcome you to the SEBA online course on purchase and sale agreement today. Uh, as I said, my name is Mike Garner. I have recently retired from active law practice in the Seattle area. I was an active lawyer for about 42 years, specializing or focusing primarily on commercial real estate with three principal areas, um, leasing, real estate financing, and the subject of this course, which is purchase and sale agreements. I probably in that uh, course of my practice probably spent an equal amount of time representing both buyers and sellers. I have been teaching courses to lawyers, to brokers, uh, both nationally and regionally for probably 15, 20 years. And um, I've done many courses to with SEBA, happy to work with them, enjoy them. And it's really a good intro, I think, on this course. I'll explain why in just one second. But before I get there, let me address some of the mechanics. So for those of you who need the clock hour credits, you'll receive four hours of credit after you've completed watching the course, successfully completed and passed all the quiz components of this, and completed the SEBA paperwork so that they can turn in the requirements and report to the state that you have successfully completed the program and are entitled to the four credits. Uh, and as I said, I'm, I'm kind of excited about teaching this course because of a, a very specific reason. In 2020, uh, the Commercial Brokers Association has released its revised commercial purchase and sale agreement form. It's PS-1, which is what I'll be referring to today. And the approach I want to take to this course is essentially to walk you through this. Um, I think you'll understand as you walk through it, um, this is how you'd probably approach it when you're dealing with your clients. You'll, we'll just walk through it sequentially so you know how the components are put together, how they interrelate and the like. And with that, we'll start the course. Thank you.